so the next type of question under transport layer is transport service primitives so in the question can be list the transport service primitives or it can be what are the transport service primitives discuss in brief there are two types of questions which are possible in this that is what is the first question i said list the transport service primitives or the question can be discuss what are transport service primitives discuss in brief what are transport service primitives discuss in brief so primitives listen listen is a listen primitive packet send none meaning block until some process tries to connect uh, connect primitive connection required meaning actively attempt to establish a connection send packet send data the meaning is send information receive primitive packet send none block until a data packet arrives so obviously when you are passing a receive primitive no packet will be sent you will have to wait until a data packet is arriving disconnect disconnection required request a release of connection so what is happening first listen block until some process tries to connect up so no packet will be sent in that case you are just establishing a connection connect there will be a connection requirement so connection required actively attempt to establish a connection send when you are passing a send primitive that that's when a data packet will be sent so with that what will happen information will be sent with the data packet so data packet will contain some information meaning is send information receive means nothing will be there you have to receive a data packet so packet no packet will be sent block until a data packet arrives disconnect disconnection required now whatever connection you have established you have to release that connection so for disconnect requirement disconnect primitive you will release the connection transport service primitive so if the question is asked then what will you write listen primitive transport interface allows the application program to establish use and release connections the server executes a listen primitive this will make up a system call to block the server until a client turns up so when the listen primitive is executed what will happen this will make a system call to block the server until a client turns up when a client wants to talk to the server it executes the connect primitive what will the connect primitive do it will establish a connection between the client and the server a connection will be established so a connect primitive will ensure that a connection is established between a client and a server in response the transport entity blocks the caller and sends a packet to the server so what will happen in response to it the transport entity will block the caller and send the packet to the server transport service primitives tpdu the message sent from the transport entity to the transport entity is called as a transport protocol data unit or tpdu so what is the full form of tpdu transport protocol data unit so in this you have a frame header a packet header is present and a segment header is present uh, segment payload packet payload and frame payload so this is a very important diagram of tpdu that is transport protocol data unit connect primitive if a client gives connect call then a connection request 
TPDU is sent to the server. So if a client gives a connect call, then what will happen? A connection request called as the transport protocol data unit will be sent to the server. When the TPDU arrives, the transport entity checks if the server is blocked on a listen. If then unlocks the server and sends a connection accepted TPDU back to the client. On arrival of this TPDU, client is unblocked and the connection is established. So what will happen? The client will give a connect caller and what will happen? A request TPDU will be sent to the server. When the TPDU will arrive, the transport entity will check if there is a block. Listen, if you pass a listen primitive, then you can block. So it will check whether the server is blocked or not. It then unlocks the server and sends a connection accepted TPDU back to the client. So it will what it will do? It will unlock the server. So basically now it will accept the connection and connect the server with the client on arrival of this tpdu client is unblocked and connection is established send or receive primitive can be used for exchange of data in transport layer data exchange every data packet is acknowledged the packets carrying Control TPDU are also acknowledged. The transport layer connection acts as a reliable pipe through which the bits sent by a sender come out from the other side of the pipe. Next is your disconnect primitive. A connection should be released when it is no longer needed. So you have to release the connection between the client and the server when it is no longer needed. This connection can be of two types, asymmetric, transport user can issue a disconnect primitive, symmetric, in this each direction is closed separately, independently of the other one. When one side does a disconnect, that means it has no more data to send, but it is still willing to accept data from its partner. So one is your asymmetric, in asymmetric, the transport user will give a disconnect primitive. But what is symmetric, in symmetric? one side will give a disconnect primitive that means that whichever side is sending a disconnect primitive that side has no more data but it is willing to accept means if you have any information then you give me i have no information left to give you so when a one side gives a disconnect primitive that means it has no more information left to send but it is willing to accept the information from the other side so it is saying that i have no information left if you have any information left you can give it to me so this is all about the transport primitives uh, transport service primitives this is an important question